Hello everyone, my name is Bogdan Pop and uh, I will present this uh, very short uh, walkthrough of processing images for Fotavia.net. I'm trying to make this as short as possible while still showing you exactly what I'm doing to images. So here we go. Uh, first of all I select my image. Let's say I want one of these three images here. It's one, two or three. Uh, I select the one which is the clearest of them all. So I look at 100%. Uh, this one has nice sharp contours and everything. This one as well. I always look through the on the edges of the image on the left or right. That's when you have problems or on the extremities of the aircraft. And I look at the details like the small registration and small text and see if those are clear. If I look on the third image. This one is not so clear compared to the other ones. You can see the small registration is a little bit blurry and the nose is really blurry on, on the contour. So I will choose one of these other two images because that those have good contours on the nose. I think I will choose the one with the shine on the tail, which is this one. So I just get that one into Photoshop. I close ACDC now. I open up Photoshop. This is it. Just click open and I open this one up. So first thing I do after the image is open, I will get out the noise of the image and I go to filter and the neat image, which is something you have to install separately in Photoshop. Um, it's a very good uh, program for, for deleting noise in the image. And we use it first. And you click and reduce noise. Use it first because you have to use it on the original image. It works much better this way. You click on auto profile. <coughs> it selects a, an area in the image for, for as a sample and then you go to noise filter settings. Click preview just to be sure you can zoom in or out with control plus or control minus and with spacebar pressed you can navigate I can drag the image, I zoom more, on the left I see the image processed with no noise and the image with without processing which is the noise area. This is very helpful with images which have a lot of noise. This is the settings I, settings I use. This is very good in, in getting out of the noise and still keeping the details like the rivets and contours and stuff like that. If we change the settings, especially if we make them extreme, you will lose details, so just be careful with this one. After I'm done, I know that these settings are good. This should work for you guys as well. I will explain them better in the future. I just click Apply, and the denoise is working now to apply on the image, to, to delete the noise in all of our images. The next step after this will be to delete our dust spots. Dust spots appear for people who are using SLR cameras, you know, the professional cameras. When you change lenses, there is dust which enters there, so you have to get it out. To be sure we see our dust, we click, we go to Image, Adjustment, and click Equalize. This will ruin our image, but we will see better the dust areas, which is this one, and you know, on these edges here. So, I will, I will only delete this one now, because this one will be out of the picture after I crop the image in the future. So I just click, uh, I just press Ctrl Z. I know that this is the dust I want to delete, and I delete it using Clone Stamp, which is this tool. Uh, you can make the tool larger or smaller by coming here and making it a little bit smaller or much bigger. See? Or you can use the square parentheses. <laughs> on the keyboard, the brackets on and off, bigger and smaller, you know, and make it as a little bit bigger than the dust spot. We Alt click, we can, we, so we press Alt, the Alt key, and we click next to the dust spot, and then so we take this as a sample and put it over when we click over the dust spot. Now, when we equalize the image, that dust spot should be gone. I'm just zoom in a little bit. Ah, I still have a little bit of it. 
just out click and then now I go image opa, adjustments equalize no more dust spot all right now we straighten the image we use the horizon as a marker we long press this one so we keep the button pressed in the mouse we select the ruler and we draw it we press it once oh, sorry we press it and keep it pressed and put it on the horizon or on any other surface which we find as a as a marker for this image the horizon is the marker we put it on the horizon and then we go to image rotation arbitrary and the program calculates what it needs to rotate the image how much it needs to rotate it to make it horizontal I click OK and the image is now after the program processes it, it's horizontal just to be sure we drag a ruler here should be OK yeah now we crop it when we crop it we, sh we must be sure that we have our ratio set here 3 by 2 centimeters and nothing here we, we leave that blank we click and drag All right. we must be sure that the image is centered on the windows of the aircraft this is a standard now we make it a little bit larger and we can move the, the whole area with, with the keyboard and we just be sure we must be sure let's say that we have equal space in front and behind the airplane just a little bit space so the picture can breathe and the windows are centered we, we press enter and now the picture is cropped. After this um, we apply auto contrast to the image to make sure that, that our contrast is okay image here yeah. auto contrast. The image is a little bit dark but that's okay we will fix this with curves we go here and uh, in the menu that appears which you can't see now press click, uh, select curves and this will appear. We divide this line into four segments, which is the curve control area. Um, when this curve controls from dark to, to shiny, everything in the image. So if you want the darker areas shinier, we go on the left side and we, draw, we drag this square a little bit up. And you can see that the image lights up in the darker areas. That's okay for us. Then we come here in the curves effect right click it and select merge down which is in the bottom side of the list merge down okay now we have the curves merged down so we we have the processed image with, with nice contrast and good uh, light areas the next thing is resizing the image we go to image image size and when we make our image for Photovia, we, we resize it, let's say 1200 pixels and the program fills in the other, the height, so it's 3 by 2 ratio, you click OK and it will resize the image. We control plus, this is the 100% view, now we need to sharpen our image because the contours are not so good we need to make them a little bit sharper so what we do is go to filter sharpen unsharp mask and we leave these settings like they are here 0 0.3 and 3 I will explain this in the future and the amount we set it to around 135 let's say we just zoom in and you can see that the contours are made stronger by this effect just when you click it you can see the image without the filter applied and when you let go the mouse this is the effect applied on the image so you can see that we have nicer contours after we alright we click OK this is the sharpened version of the image so now the contours appear much sharper um, after this we apply uh, saturation we make the colors a little bit stronger let's say it's 15, this is the number I like for saturation we click OK and we're done this is the prepared image for Photovia this is the very basic tutorial it's not even a tutorial, it's just a walkthrough 
Uh, I will explain the decisions in the future and I will explain much better ways to process the image, but this is the fastest way you can process the image. It works for 90% of the images, let's say 80%. Some other pictures need more attention and I will show you in the future. But this is basically the way it works for processing. So now we save the image as a JPEG file. We just give it a new name. Now process, let's say we, we save it in the maximum quality and then we're ready to upload that file to Photovia. So hope this has helped, but this is a very short tutorial and I will I will show you a better one in the future. Hope this was okay. Thank you guys. Bye.